The next problem is not so simple. We're going to look at scenario two. The microservice instance is slow. What happens in this case? Is this something to worry about? Oh, if, a, if an instance goes down, I can understand that, okay, this is, um, that thing doesn't even exist. So everything can go down. Microservice being slow, it's not a big issue, right? That particular service is slow. The rest of the application should work fine, right? But it turns out a microservice being slow is a much, much bigger problem, right? A much, much, much bigger problem. And I'll tell you why. Let's say you've got this, uh, this is our picture, right? So we made a call to an external service. Let's say that external service is slow, okay? We shouldn't have picked it, but that thing is slow. Now, what ends up happening is as a result, your uh, movie catalog service becomes slow. So this is the path that it takes, right? First, it makes a call to this guy, gets the information, then makes a call to this guy, which is calling this guy. So if this is slow, this becomes slow. Now imagine you have an application where there are certain APIs which are going through this and this. There are certain APIs which are just going to the ratings data service and it has nothing to do with the movie info service. So let's say you have an API which says, how many movies has this user rated, right? So guess and they get the number of movies. For that, you don't need the movie info service. You can just call the rating data service and get that information. So maybe this guy has APIs which just call this one, one service. Maybe this guy has APIs which just call this one service. So you can have all kinds of combinations. And now let's say in this situation, this service is slow because of which this service is slow. The movie info service is slow. Now it makes sense that any API that's being called, which depends on the movie info service is obviously going to be slow. That should be it, right? The calls from here to here should be unaffected. It should be seamless. Isn't that true? Well, that's not the case. It's very possible that this thing is also slow because of this thing being slow, all right? This call from the movie catalog service to the ratings data service has nothing to do with this path. But still, this service being slow somewhere over here is causing these calls to fail, these calls to be slow. Why is that happening? How is it possible? How can an unrelated service be slow because some other service in some other corner of your microservice architecture is being slow? Any guesses? Any guesses why this could be? I'm gonna give you guys some time, so think about it. Think about what could be causing this kind of an impact to happen. And uh, let me know in the in the chat, if you will. Timeout, yes, timeout is a very good guess. It is, <clears throat> it is, I would say a solution rather than a problem. All right, because one service depends on the other, not quite. Let me explain this. This service, the ratings data service does not depend on the movie info service, all right? This service depends on both, but these two are independent. Now, if this service has an API call that depends on the path that is slow, it makes sense that that API is slow. But if there is another API which just calls this guy, ratings data service, it has nothing to do with this guy, all right? That API call comes in, that should work just fine. That should be super fast, right? There's no reason for that to be slow just because this is the culprit or this is the culprit. Now, why is this path being slow? I see some good guesses there, which is you got the right answers. I'm glad that you did. The answer is threads, all right? You guys familiar with the concept of threads? If you're a Java programmer, you should know how threads work, specifically in uh, the context of web servers. I'm gonna give you a quick primer so that you guys are all on the same page. 